What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video and today we have another Ryzen Torch for you guys. Now remember I told you guys I'm working on a Ryzen Torch build. I did order some parts from eBay. For yesterday I received these parts and I started working on a guide you guys been waiting for. But today's video, not about the guide. Today basically I want to show you guys how this system is running. Now. If I see you guys like this video and you guys really want me to make like a part 2 video then make sure you subscribe if you are watching me for the first time and make sure you give this video thumbs up. Now if I see enough like then I'll definitely make a part 2 video. And the reason why I'm telling you guys I'll make a part 2 video is some of you complain like whenever I make like a 40 minute long video kinda hard and kinda get boring so that's the reason I try to like you know make like the first video basically you know showing you guys how the system is running if worth uh, you know uh, building a setup like this and then second video I show you guys uh, how to install now real quick let me just jump into the parts so the motherboard I picked up for this build uh, SROG A320M motherboard it's a great budget motherboard but you can overclock using this motherboard because that's an A320 chipset uh, if you're looking to overclock then you need a B350 motherboard or a B450 motherboard or you need an X370 motherboard or an X470 motherboard but if you're someone like me uh, you know you just want a Hackintosh reliable and you don't care about overclocking then this motherboard should be uh, more than enough for you guys you can install all the way up to like Ryzen uh, 2700X CPU you can upgrade you don't have to worry now the CPU I have in this build, uh, AMD Ryzen 3 2200G CPU. So I managed to pick up the motherboard and the CPU used from eBay for $94. The motherboard was a bit scratched up, but it works perfectly fine. So I didn't really care. Uh, the graphics card I have in this build, uh, my old Asus uh, Strix RX 580 8 gig variant graphics card uh, I had laying around, so I'm using in this build. And also the power supply I'm using, uh, my uh, EVGA 450 watt BT power supply. I picked up this power supply uh, from uh, Black Friday from Newegg for around twenty dollars. So I get a pretty good deal. And uh, also this power supply is a eighty plus, uh, so it's a good uh, power supply. And uh, the SSD I'm using Sandix two hundred and forty gig SSD. It's, it's a cheap SSD, but works really good. And I had this SSD laying around, so I was like, why not just throw uh, this SSD in this build? Now the reason I don't have a case for this build because the main reason I build this uh, computer here outside because I just wanted to make the guide for you guys, okay? Because I have like at least seven to eight computer laying around. So that's the reason I didn't want to buy another computer case and throw this build in the case. Now maybe down the road because I will use the same setup to build a budget gaming PC. Maybe then I will use this uh, setup and maybe pick up a like a cheap maybe $40, $50 case and I'll throw this uh, build in a case and show you guys like a dual boot uh, Windows 10 and Mac OS Mojave even you know like in the same build because I know a lot of you care now let's just jump in and let me show you guys how this system is performing alright guys so you guys can see uh, I did run some uh, tests for you guys here now real quick let me just jump into uh, about this Mac and you guys can see we are running Mac OS Mojave version 10.14.1 and you guys can see our profile set to iMac 27 uh, late 2013 and you guys can see the processor here showing 3.1 gigahertz so the 3.1 gigahertz is right because uh, Ryzen 3 1200 uh, base clock is around 3.1 and I believe the boost clock is around 3.4 gigahertz and it's showing quad core then again it's showing Intel Xeon so basically Mac OS uh, doesn't recognize AMD processor so what basically does when he sees like the core and the, uh, the core clock basically uh, pick the processor as like you know like the Mac OS think uh, this processor is a Xeon processor. Now the memory you guys can see uh, I'm running uh, team group uh, 2666 uh, RAM overclock to 2934 but I don't know why it's showing 34 here so 2934 megahertz DDR4 uh, and also the graphics card uh, we are running right now Radeon RX 580 8 gig variant and if we go to storage you guys can see I'm um, running at 240 gig Sandix SSD and the memory if we look at 8 gigs right here now real quick let me just jump into Geekbench 4 score 
so you guys can see Gigvent 4 score uh, the single core uh, score was around 3952 and the multi core score was around 11258 now again uh, for a Ryzen 3 1200, like a budget CPU, I think this score is very respectful score. And uh, I, I don't mind using this computer for like everyday use for video rendering, uh, gaming, I think perfectly fine. And also you guys can see here, um, AMD Ryzen 3 1200, and then the core clock is around 3.1 gigahertz and we're running Mac OS. All right, now let's look at the Geekbench compute test. So that's the open uh, CL uh, benchmark basically uh, from Geekbench 4. So you guys can see open CL score 40,250. Again, uh, also a, a very sp a respectful uh, open CL score. And let's just look at Cinebench R20. So you guys remember we used to run Cinebench R15. So this. Uh, that's their new version uh, Cinebench uh, uh, R20 so basically they released this version for all this powerful CPU uh, I ran this test I just wanted to show you guys compared to like all this other CPU so you guys can see they have all this expensive CPU like they have uh, like Xeon processors they have like uh, Ryzen Threadripper and then we are also here somewhere on the 10th place um, our score was around 11 and 99 not too bad you know we are right below uh, i7 4850HQ so yeah not too bad now let's just jump into Nova Bench because I know some of you care about Nova Bench so Nova Bench our total score was around 1568 and uh, the CPU score was around uh, 782 the RAM score around 211 uh, and then uh, GPU score uh, 515 and you guys can see the metal 3d score is around uh, 55 fps and also open cl uh, 6051 uh, g flops and then we have a disc score here 60 because we are using a sata 6 uh, sata ssd not an m.2 uh, if you do go with the m.2 ssd uh, your disc score will be a lot higher and uh, will help you you know like if you're if you uh, if you plan on building this uh, build for like editing video and stuff i would recommend going with like a m.2 but even ssd is, should be more than enough so you guys can see the write speed uh, 136 uh, and then read speed is around 451 now let's just jump into Luxmark and you guys can see uh, Luxmark here AMD Radeon RX 580 compute engine and then the score is right here so we ran mode OpenCL okay and then total uh, score was 13,800 I don't know why uh, Luxmark showing the GPU uh, clock speed is around 300 I have to look into this the disk speed test also so you guys can see disk speed test uh, the write speed was 135 and the read speed was around 531 I personally like SanDisk SSD really good and really reliable now let's just jump into Final Cut Pro real quick so you guys can download the trial version of Final Cut Pro and you can use for 30 days. So we are in Final Cut right now. So you guys can see I did run this uh, Bruce X uh, 5K test. Uh, I did go to pair friends and I did, uh, did uh, uncheck the background render for this test and then went to master file and setting and then I made sure video uh, codec Apple ProRes uh, 422 LT and you guys can see uh, resolution 5120 by uh, 2700 all right and so basically the Bruce X test took uh, around 19 seconds okay so that's really good because my um, i5-9600K uh, overclock to like uh, 4.9 gigahertz. Uh, the score was around uh, uh, 15, uh, 15 point, uh, 15 point 60 second, I think. So that's pretty good. And you guys can see the Final Cut Pro uh, also running flawlessly. If you close that, 
uh, we open iMovie. Some of you guys build Hackintosh for using iMovie because it's a free uh, uh, software you can use for like if you run a YouTube channel, you know, or if you just if you're a person, you know, you use for your business. Uh, iMovie works really well. You know, if you're a content creator. Uh, your video producer and you're in budget you could use iMovie for the meantime maybe later on you can get Final Cut Pro so iMovie also works really good and if we jump into DaVinci Resolve so you guys can see uh, DaVinci Resolve is working also perfectly fine uh, none of these application crashed on me uh, I didn't test with the like with the video and stuff like rendering and stuff because I know it will take time but you guys can see you can use DaVinci Resolve also so and uh, let's just move on to because some of you are asking about Android Studio so I did uh, download the Android Studio I personally don't use Android Studio my brother does uh, but I just download it so I can I download it and install it so I can show you guys uh, if you guys want to use Android Studio, you can use Android Studio with Windows computer. But some of you guys, if you guys use uh, like Hackintosh for your main computer, then you can use Android Studio also. So basically, just test folder right here. I don't have anything here. Just want to show you guys. Yes, you can use Android Studio also. Right. Uh, let me just close that. Close that, and let's just open Xcode for you guys. Let's open test. I don't have any project in Xcode also. Uh, just wanted to show you guys, just, you know, test. Um, you guys can see, and let me just play, build, there's nothing. Uh, but uh, you guys can see, just working perfect. Only reason I'm showing you guys all this application, basically opening and showing you guys, because I remember, uh, I don't know if my last video or one of my video, you guys asked, uh, just to show you guys, you know, if, um, you know, all this application works, because you guys don't want to spend the money and then, uh, you know, then some of this application doesn't work. So that's the reason I'm showing you guys. Uh, also, the sound is working. Like if we go to, let's play this, so we play music here. I don't know if you guys can hear sound is working all right uh, let me just go to setting and let me just go here speaker and then if we go to sound effect sound is working the internet is working okay you guys can see internet is working also we can jump into YouTube and uh, we can go to Tech Tuner Live real quick and show you guys. All right, so you guys can see uh, YouTube working, everything working. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, uh, my Ryzen 3 1200 uh, Ryzen Torch build running flawlessly, stable, and I can basically run all my favorite application. Okay. Now, if you guys want to see like the part two video. The installation guide please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also if you guys are watching me for the first time please don't forget to subscribe and also guys don't forget to use my Amazon affiliate link whenever you purchase something from Amazon because that will help me a lot alright guys that should be it see you guys next one peace